Hey everybody, welcome to another Adventures with Jim. For today we're not going to be doing regular treasure hunting like we're used to. We're going to be doing different kind of treasure hunting. I'd like to introduce you to a different hobby of mine. Uh, making a mess. Hey, I'm damn good at that. Uh, but today we're talking about IDE hard drives. Because these things are useless, they die a lot. But they got some neat stuff in them that can be recycled and resold. And I'm all about making money out of nothing. So, I guess I better get to work. Let me give you a, a little description here of what you can expect to find in the IDE hard drive. So, I gotta move the camera for all this. Hold on. Okay, we're talking IDE hard drive. You got the 40 pins right there. Uh, Basically, the outside's got three parts. You got your circuit board, the body, and actually this one's a little different, and this sheet right here. So, on the circuit board, we got a couple of neat things. These are memory chips. This is a memory chip. This may or may not be a motor controller, and you notice they're nice and soldered on there. There's a trick to getting those off of there. There's the motor controller, and you can see how it's soldered on there. And I'll do another episode on how to get those off of there, because they can actually be unsoldered and recycled. That's the memory chip right there. Not all hard drives have them. Some have different kinds of versions. So I think we need to get to work destroying this thing. The other two parts, you got your body. That is cast aluminum. And there's a important uh, an important uh, trick that comes with that. The top is sheet aluminum. They actually sell at different prices. So we're going to separate the top from the body from the circuit board. And um, let's check out more, we need more close-ups. As you will note, most of them are held together with these stupid star screws which I absolutely flipping hate. You could go out and buy the screwdrivers for that, but I prefer to do it the easy way. controller right there. Got a memory chip there. But we also have gold-plated pins. Didn't used to be you would even bother with these. But with the way prices are going these days, I am simply going to snap that whole unit off. There you go. I'll put that in a box and when I get enough, I'll sell just gold plated pins and let somebody else screw with getting the gold off of here. Alright, motor controller, memory chip, put that in a different box and keep working. That may or may not be an EE an e -E prom chip. We'll take it, we'll take it. And more gold-plated pins. Snap those puppies off. More for the box. Now, remember I was telling you? Cast aluminum, sheet aluminum. Cast aluminum has got a, uh, a trick we can use. It's extraordinarily brittle. So yeah, I can take all these screws out, but eh, it takes a while. Hold on, we're going to need a little more force. See, after a good, 
couple of good blows, you can see that cast is starting to break. It's very brittle. And you want to avoid hitting this area back here because that's got the piece we want right here. This is a motor that you can never reuse with some aluminum platens. Okay, after a little bit of pounding and get that off, more scrap cast aluminum again. Eh, you know those screws, you can clean it up to whatever level you want. The part we are looking for is this one right here. Demian magnets. Super powerful, super fun. I'll show you how to get those off here in a second. Okay, these wonderful little super magnets are just these little pieces here. This is just a big ass hunk of steel. And as you notice, uh, ooh, ooh, I got lucky on these. These are going to slide off. I got to slide them. Uh, they put just a little dab of glue underneath. So there's one right there. One little one. They get bigger. Let's see if the other one will slide for me. Yep. Nice. Uh, these are little. Not terrible. If you get into some of the bigger sizes, be careful. They are finger pinchers. They will make you bleed. So what'd you, what we ended up getting here, scrap aluminum sweet magnets. You can clean this up to whatever degree you want. This is almost completely scrap aluminum. Different kinds, but there are steel screws. There's a motor that has to come out. There is a little circuit underneath here that has to come out. You got some interesting microchips. I'll do a, an episode on how to survive and how to, how to unsolder those. And we got a little bit of gold scrap. I don't know if it's worth anything. Okay, like I said, the IDE hard drive has three parts. And this one I actually took the screws out. I'll show you an easier way here in a second. You got your circuit board, your gold scrap, your microchips, there's one, there's one. Those can't be recycled. And you got your body. The body comes apart in two halves. <sighs> Eventually. That is sheet aluminum. This piece is cast aluminum. You can take a hammer and you can shatter that. And what we're looking for is right here. The Neos. The Neodymium Magnets. Slide those suckers right out of there. Ooh, this has got two. See, they're locked together. Be very careful. The Neos are very brittle. <clears throat> There's nothing holding this together except magnetic force. <clears throat> Son of a... Those are, those are the good ones. Ah, yes, they will attract everything. Now, my trick for these, if they don't slide, and I don't think these are, these won't slide, they have a little bit of glue underneath them. My trick is, you have, there's a little drop of glue underneath just a little. You don't want to shatter it. Remember, these are very brittle. And you just kind of wiggle it. There we go. 
very powerful neodymium. This is what we're looking for. Some of these magnets will lift 35 pounds. Oh! I think I cracked it. Damn it. Oh, nope, that was just the, the coating. Ah, oh, excellent. Another Neo. Very cool. Hey, let's talk about the rest of the parts in the hard drive. These, uh, this little armature, got a nice little coil. You'll probably never rescue it. Sometimes you can get it out, sometimes you can't. I always like little coils. These on the end are little itty bitty tiny receivers, like a tape deck. Got a Really nice little bearing in there. You can work on getting that out if you want. The motor, you have to pull the hub screws most of the time. And all of this is high grade aluminum. All of these rings, this, it is aluminum coated with uh, like a magnet, uh, ferric oxide mixed with um, either chromium or cobalt or yeah one of those these platters come out we've actually used these for Christmas decorations aren't they nice and shiny and pretty and the motor itself real simple fortunately this has all the good screws and I don't have to smash it Take out this little circuit here. That's a little amplifier. Ah. And there's always that. That's where your secret screw is. Where it says, warning, uh, warranty void if you remove this. That's where your secret screw is. Because there's always one. Nice, pure, cast aluminum. Sell this crap all the time. The motor, I don't know. Maybe you can try to resell it. I've never tried. Maybe you can try to reuse it. That one actually might be decent. You can get to the connections. And there you go. That's the rest of it. Neat, huh? So there you go. My hobby. Tearing things apart for fun. Got some scrap aluminum. I got some scrap gold. I like microchips. Maybe you don't. Throw this away. I don't know. Uh, I was looking at the video I was showing earlier. I said it was a motor, motor controller. It was actually an EEPROM chip. Uh, but there are some websites where you can actually run the numbers, find out what the chips are. Because if they are the square, like so, they can be unsoldered and recycled sometimes. If they're the stapled, where they've got the leads out, those you can't recycle. And we got the Neos. Love these things. You guys will have a lot of fun with them. Hope you had a little bit of fun, and I do plan to do more. I got some more stuff I want to tear up. But for now, I got some work to do. I'll see you guys later.